We're at a place today. We're in Virginia. Got some Civil War potential here. We're not really expecting Civil War, but there is potential here. The place we're at was known in the area for Civil War. But we got four of us digging today. We got David over here. He's searching for something in a hole right now. Jordan, he's swinging the Equinox and drops his cell phone. We got Matt with us today. He's one of our subscribers and pretty good little metal detecting guy himself. Well, I got the first good find in the hole here. Let's go over here and look at it. It's gonna be some kind of jewelry. I think it might be maybe a necklace piece. I hate to try to bend it back out, but you can see it's got all kinds of little charms on it and stuff like that. They're falling to pieces. I don't think it's gonna be silver. I just think it's, I don't know, it might be an earring. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking maybe an earring now. Try not to bend it too much back into place because you know how I am. I like breaking stuff. But there's the first, my first decent find. Matt said he found a Chuck E. Cheese token over there. So, big vast area. I mean, so even with four guys metal detecting, we're not going to be able to cover this thoroughly today. You know, we're here really... I know I am. I'm pretty much cherry picking. But first find of the day for me, well, the first recordable uh, signal. I got a bunch of cans law. There it is. Some kind of either earring or necklace piece. I'm not real sure. That looks like a bird couldn't make it to their nest. I guess just popped it anywhere it would pop out, I guess. It's just sitting right here and in the middle of the yard. I think that one's not going to make it. All right, this was coming up like 91, 92 on the detector. Uh, I have no idea what it may be. It's coming up almost like silver, but I really don't think it's silver. I don't know what it's even going to be. Any ideas? It looks like it's completely through hollow. Yeah, there we go. All of it's out. I was thinking maybe an ink pen piece or something, but not real sure. Anybody knows for sure? Give me a yell. Kind of curious about this one. Okay, here's a picture of the house, what it looks like. I was talking to the people that live behind. They said it was Civil War aged house. I, I'm not completely sold on that. It's got the two chimneys and stuff like that, but I don't know, just something, I'm thinking early 1900s, maybe late 1800s. I know the inside's got a dirt floor and stuff like that, but I guess it could be that old. I know we're just not really finding that anything that period. They, they've been living here for seven years and they saying that they've never seen anyone detect here. Finding lots of can slaw, piles of that, but Pretty big, vast area. We'll never get it covered today. And unless it really starts picking up, we probably won't be back over. It's a little distance to travel to get here, but you know, if it's nothing here, we're not gonna worry about it. All right, guys. So I got the whole squad with me. I got David, Dad, and then we got Matthew back behind me. And uh, I've never found one of these before. David's back behind me dancing, so if I'm laughing, that's why. But um, I haven't ever found one of these. It was about seven inches deep and uh came up like a solid 15 like it wouldn't move from 15 i thought it was going to be a tin can but uh here it is guys check it out it's actually going to be like a little symbol this might be late 1800s maybe or early 1900s for sure what it's doing out in the middle of this field though I, I don't know but i'm having a stellar day guys on finding stuff that i haven't found before so i'm pretty jacked up okay finally guys i got onto something kind of old here Definitely oldest one of oldest find I found today. Pretty cool little buckle. Actually, we're right beside one of the vehicles, but uh, it looks like it might have some age to it. Let's pull it out here. A nice little brass buckle. Don't have the little center piece, but it might still be in the hole. Let's take a look. Nope, I'm not hearing it in the hole, but. It's got some age to it, I can tell you right now. Out here in the middle of this field, 
pretty cool. Dang, I'll take that. All right, I'm starting to like it over here in this little field over here. The, the targets ain't as much. The other side was so much can slow. This side here seems like the signals are a little bit fewer and far between, but coming up with some fairly decent signals. I mean, that's nothing great, but I know a lot of people can tell by how wide that shoe is, but it's really worn, you know, if it was probably Civil War period or not, but pretty pretty cool find here you know deep down in the ground good six inches there's still potential here hey right, guys i switched over to the at pro i'm out here my battery's running low on the simplex but uh just dug this cool little um dog tax it says virginia mail 1950 so pretty cool i always like digging dog tax tags all right guys so uh we got my first find here i haven't found it yet so i guess i shouldn't say it's a find but um it's definitely definitely close never mind i did find it it. i was honestly hoping that my first find with this new microphone was going to be something cool but it's not it's uh yeah i, I don't know it's like a straw like a metal straw maybe like a brake line i don't know that's all it is it was coming up high signal on the equinox so 26 i'm sorry i'm lying 22 but um gotta dig that it's all right we'll move on to something better i will find something cool today maybe check this signal out right here that is an absolute screamer if it ain't nothing good, I'll probably just go home. All right, now it's interesting because it's about six inches deep. So it's either, my luck, it's probably a water line or something cool. Let's see. Oh yeah, talk to me. I mean, just pure hum to me, baby. What are, we, what are we looking at in this hole? Let's see. All right, well, I see glass. Uh-oh, I see something shiny. But I'm telling you right now, it's not the good type of shiny because the only shiny this thing is is a stinking bottle can. Look at that, baby. That's what we're here for, cleaning up the earth, cleaning up the environment. Yes, sir, that's why I love metal detecting so much. A lot of people think it's about just finding treasure. To me now, uh-uh. I, I hate finding treasure. Honestly, treasure's overrated. Who wants to find treasure? Not me. I would like I like making sure that the ground is clean. That's, that's my biggest pet peeve in life. As long as I'm walking on clean ground, baby, I'm fine. You can keep all them gold rings and Civil War bullets, everything else, everybody else is fine to keep them. Don't want them. Check this out. First, I'm gonna show you what it was reading out. All right, so it was running like a 29 to 30, and uh, I was really expecting another tin can, and dang, go on, my legs itch so bad. Check this out. This is my first double coin spill in a while. I mean, it's been a hot minute now. It, oh, is it silver? Is it double silver? Please be, please at least just be one silver, maybe. Uh, 1982 and 1983. Darn it. But two quarters, maybe more. There might be more. Hold on. Let me check this out real quick. Let me check this little plug or roo out. Uh oh. Hold, on. Hold the phone, folks. Nope, nothing. That's all I got. Two quarters, though. Hey, paying off my mortgage, baby. Mm -hmm. 